Hey everybody, today I'm chatting with Jason Dougherty. He is the owner and coach at Movement Lab in Denton, Texas. He has a really cool, fun story about how him and his wife ended up here to begin with. And he also talks to me a little bit about all the programs they have for athletes of all different um, skill levels, and then goes into some of the story behind their really cool historic building downtown. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hey everybody, I am here with Jason Dougherty of the Movement Lab. I'm so excited to talk to him about what brought him to Denton and what Movement Lab is all about. Thanks for joining me, Jason. How are you? Of course, I'm doing great. Doing great, glad to be here. Great. Well, the first thing I'd love for you to share with us is just what brought you to Denton and what inspired Movement Lab. Absolutely. So um, kind of two different answers. The, my, my wife is from San Francisco and her brother works in the nightlife there. And uh, we were trying to pick a place to move in, in, in Texas. And um, he was at a, we were looking at Austin and San Antonio and he was at a nightlife seminar um, and he's sitting at a table and everybody's from Nashville, Philadelphia, Chicago, and then Denton. And he's like, he's, he, my wife asked me like, what's going on in Denton? And I was like, uh, it's a sleepy college town last I knew, you know, growing up. So um, we decided to take a trip to Denton and we actually hit Jazz Fest that weekend. And uh, it was like the perfect weekend to, to be in Denton and we fell in love with the city. We came back several more times and decided this is where we wanted to, to move our gym to and, um, and set up. That's awesome. So um, about your gym specifically, what, what's it all about? What types of athletes do you cater to? Um, just describe what, what it's like at Movement Lab. Yeah, so we try to have a very inclusive environment here. Um, uh, there's a lot of uh, gyms, they, they have different personalities, each one. Ours tends to, to cater to, to being very inclusive, taking people that have never worked out before, and also taking people that have been lifelong athletes, and then putting them into um, a program that serves them best. So we have membership options that are two days a week for folks that are just getting started three days a week and then unlimited classes. And, um, and so it's really to provide a service uh, and give you an advocate um, in your health journey. So um, it sounds like you have different levels of all, si of all different um, types of uh, athletes that you're catering to. Do you have any like specific programs um, that people can find out about? Yeah, so we have um, several programs. Um, our, our bread and butter is our GPP classes, and that just stands for general physical preparedness. In those classes, you're going to get everything you need to get stronger, more flexible, more fit, um, and they're generalized. So nothing very specific uh, is focused on other than just general wellness. Then we have programs that we run in about six-week intervals um, that kind of go into each discipline that we use in those general classes more in depth for people that find those interesting. So gymnastics, uh, folks like that, um, endurance, we have a rowing course, a powerlifting course, an Olympic weightlifting course. And those courses are just for people that kind of find something that they find interest in and we kind of pursue it more, go in more in depth and, um, and get better at, at those specific skills. As a, so you not only own Movement Lab, you're, you're one of the coaches, right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, the, the, the thing that is, um, you know, I talk to a lot of small business owners in town and it's, it is a thing that's kind of different in the fact that I'm actually in, in the trenches, so to speak. Um, but it's why I opened the gym is because I really enjoy interacting with people and I really enjoy being part of their success. Um, there's nothing more fulfilling than seeing someone struggle, either if it's weight or uh, their body weight, or if it's um, a movement that they've been working on and then seeing that look of uh, success, it's really um, what motivates me and, and it's why I, I fell in love with this and, and why I opened a gym. That's awesome. Um, so we did get uh, a question from the audience on Instagram and Chloe would like to know, what is your favorite part about Denton? I think my favorite part of Denton is that it's different. And I mean, um, when I go to Plano, Carrollton, they're all kind of look the same. They all have, you know, similar restaurants, but, uh, in Denton, there's a lot more character. There's a lot more focus on the arts. Um, got a lot of live music in town. Um, murals being painted by local artists, and uh, and then um, the focus on 
small business. Obviously, I'm a small business owner, but there's uh, and it's why we chose to to be just off the square is because there's a, a very community feeling here in Denton where um, it's a. Uh, I don't know. It's just a great place that we fell in love with because of all those things. It's not one thing. It's just a, a kind of a culmination of all those together. It's a good vibe. It's like yeah. the vibe, right? Yeah, it's the, <laughs> yeah, vibe. It's the totally vibe. But that, that sounds so ambiguous, you know? Yeah. Well, it encompasses a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I guess this is might be a good opportunity for you to kind of tell Denton or anybody who might be interested um, what kind of precautions you might have in place um, for the times we're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of concern out there, right, for, for health. And we, we view ourselves as a wellness center. So the last thing we want to do is get people sick. Um, so we do have um, a mandatory mask when you come into the door. But uh, each space, um, we have spaces, nine of them on the floor that are marked clearly. Uh, once you get to your space, you can take your mask off to do your workout. And anytime you leave that space, you need to put a mask back on. Um, those spaces are spread out about 12 feet apart. So uh, kind of went above and beyond what, what we're required to do. And, uh, and then the classes are limited to nine people, which again, um, we could have classes up to 15 to 20 if, um, if we followed the regulations. We just feel like it's better to be uh, prudent. And um, other than that, we also have a socially distanced class. So sometimes folks feel still not comfortable with those parameters. So we have a class that meets three times a week in the afternoon where people are separated by 20 feet. Wow, that's great. So not only are all your regular classes pretty much socially distanced, you have an even more extreme socially distanced option for people who are just wanting to be a little extra careful. Yeah, that's yeah, great. We, yeah, we call it extra distance. And uh, <laughs> the, we definitely introverts love, love that class because it's a, <laughs> your, own, your own thing, you know? So tell us yeah. about your building. Is, doesn't it have kind of a cool history behind it? Yeah, so we're in the Evers Hardware. So the, we have the Evers Hardware that's on the square, and that was the storefront. And then we're in the Evers Hardware that was actually where the the tools were made and and kind of the, um, the stuff that wasn't for sale that was you know uh, stored. I don't know what the word is. Um, <laughs> the bulk of it, you know, like their warehouse. There we go. It is basically their go. warehouse um, for the shop on the square. So I think this was built in 1911. And it was an old carriage house at one point um, before that. And then it became uh, a bus station. Then there was a trolley station. So it's been several different things, but it's really cool to see the brickwork where you can see the old arches where the, when it was a carriage house. And uh, it's, it's as Denton as it gets, you know, the historical society came by um, when we were moving in here and they brought these old photos for me to see of when the building, like the oldest photo that they could find of the building. And it was nuts to see that the, the church, the Methodist church, is, was the Methodist church back in 1910. And it's just like one of those old white, you know, what you see in Western movie, you know, kind of chapel churches. And now it's like a whole city block, but it's still there. And so it's kind of cool to see the building was literally, there was only a square and then everything else was kind of um, mud and dirt and horses. And, and uh, it's kind of cool to be in something that's so old and such a, uh, I mean, at the beginning of Denton, basically, you know. That is very, very cool. And I've been in this space. It's, it's got such a cool feel. Yes. What ways can people find out more about what options you have or maybe even where to get started with Movement Lab? For sure. So um, you can follow us on Instagram at themovementlabntx.com and movement's abbreviated MVMT. Um, or you can send me an email at info at themovementlab.com. Um, you can also just stop by. We're at 109 West Walnut, just a block south of uh, LSA. So stop on by and uh, we'd love to see you.